I'm back. I've done a bunch of work since the last time we spoke. Um, I'm going to run through it really quick here, uh, just so you know what I've been doing. It's uh, Before this is all put together, it's, it's really important that it's uh, staged properly so we can get the screws in and everything, get, get access to everything and um, get it wired up okay because uh, if I put this together I'm not going to be able to get to a bunch of stuff I need to. So anyway I'm doing a lot of the prep work now. Um, the first thing I did as I mentioned before I cut these these um, the, the, these trenches through here. I routed those out and installed these conduits. I got those glued in with five minute epoxy. I've got the ear motors mounted as you can see now, I just got them hot glued in. There's really no need to glue those in. Hot glue, you can take them out again later on. Um, so I ran the wires in because once this gear is in place and everything is together, there's no way to get down into there to thread that through unless you take it all apart again. So I also mounted a disc, I took that piece of um, acrylic. That Greg had mounted on there, and uh, you can see the old, the old holes. And I mounted this new uh, D um, clamping hub. <laughs> it's um, set screw. That's what it is. It's it's a set screw to go onto a D shaft. So it's mounted on there. And uh, that'll give me a more secure, um, tighter clamp down to the motor uh, shaft that I want. A little bit of um, uh, Loctite on those threads on that, on that set screw and it'll never come out. So, um, not that Craig's deal is, is bad, but uh, I just want this to be last to last forever. I don't want any kind of trouble for from this thing. So anyway, um, we get that. The hardest part was getting that thing centered. So uh, that took a little bit of time just to make sure it was right. So what else I did? Um, I permanently mounted, I, I took the um, Lazy Susan out of the here after I got the, got the uh, elevation right and I permanently mounted on the top of the um, collar. So that's the proper way to do this so we can get to the access holes um, that I to, to drop these screws in here to attach to there. So basically I, I think you can see right here I drilled another hole. It's an access hole so I can get to those screws. So when I put this together I'll do it just like this. I'll drop the screws down and they'll mate up with these and uh, I can tighten each one down as I go around. You can see how that works. So what else I did, the last thing I did is I needed to get this done before I put it together was to uh, mount the motor. And this is the motor I said that's got the encoder on the end. It's a nice uh, planetary gear motor and uh, this is a clamp that, that I got from Servo City that, that holds it. And the way I've got it um, mounted, because it kind of, the way this thing was cut and the, where the gears line up, I had to um, bump it out so it was kind of floating out into the, um, it was kind of floating out into the middle and not hitting all the plastic. So I got this little washer right here and that's a steel washer. It clamps up, it clamps back here through the through the plastic and then up in here I got a couple spacers to keep it apart properly and it's all nice and tight and rigid. It's not going anywhere. Then I, then I went ahead and um, put these connectors on it for uh, plug it in later into the, um, the kangaroo and the saber tooth, which I'm going to have mounted up here, so it somehow it's going to go up in here somewhere. So there's the kangaroo. That's where the encoder is going to be going into, right uh, on this channel here, I believe, or the bottom channel. I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose. And the motor power comes, the control power comes out, and the 
electric feed goes in. So actually the electric feed goes in the center and the top two is for the top channel. The bottom two is, is feed out to the motor for the bottom channel. So this will go out to the motor on the collar. So as simple as that, um, I've, got them, I've got them separated uh, for the, the encoder side and the power into the motor. So I'm going to uh, now I'm going to take and put this gear on the Lazy Susan and I need to before I do anything I needed to make sure that D flat side there uh, of that motor shaft is pointing out so I can get at the set screw because this planetary gear will not let you turn this by hand. So what I'm going to do now is you can see it's a little bit off, off mesh. I'm going to raise it up to the proper level and get underneath there with the set screw and uh, tighten it down and that will give me my proper elevation for that. And I think uh, then after I'm done I'll be able to put it together. One more thing before I uh, mention, uh, before I go to do that, you'll see these posts right here. Those line up with this little angle here, so when the radar turns all the way around, it will stop. It'll hit that stop right there if anything goes wrong. Also, that's my mechanical stops that I'm going to have to have for the kangaroo that we talked about. That. Uh, that thing needs to know where the endpoints are, and there's three ways to teach this where those endpoints are. One is with limit switches, which I'm not going to do because there's just more wiring going up that I don't want to deal with. It's or you could teach it by turning it by hand, uh, which I can't do because again the planetary gears won't let you turn. So the the third way you can set this up is you can set it up to teach it with mechanical stops. So, and it goes around slowly until it bumps, until something stops it, and that's what's going to stop it. Then it'll know where that endpoint is. Then it'll go back around by itself and auto tune and hit that stop with this. And then the kangaroo will finish up its, its auto tune and it'll know right where the endpoints are and the speeds and how to control that motor. So, um, now I'm going to set this camera up on a tripod. And uh, you can watch me put this thing together, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the I've got the camera on a tripod, and I am ready to start. I'm going to start by putting a little drop of blue Loctite. This is the medium hold. I'll get it. I'll be able to get it out if I want to, right on this uh, little set screw. Don't need a lot, just a touch. Now don't get this stuff on the any acrylics. Don't use it on acrylics because it'll craze and crack. You just on metal to metal, okay? So now remember, I have my D uh, flat part pointing out, so I can get it at it just fine. Run the set screw in. little bit so it should just hopefully fall on there there it is now I need to push this down get it flat bring this up hold it in place and with my third hand here <laughs> get in there and tighten that down Just easier said than done. Okay, make sure I'm flat. A little torque on it. Uh, stand by. I'm going to get a little pliers here. And <laughs> just don't be scared. I'm just going to give it a little bit of tweak. This I know this looks looks bad, but just give it a little bit of a turn here. Okay, now that should be fine. That's nice and flat across there. 
So, the next thing I want to do is make sure that my Lazy Susan is lined up with the holes. And I will take these, pull them through. I want to make sure that I have this thing pointed to the front. I got it marked someplace here. Front. Here, this is my front. So I'm going to turn this thing around. I want to have this as lined up as possible. And um, let's see. This will be my front like this. And I should be able to just drop that on there. Ta-da! All right, I cut away for a second there just to double check everything that I had done. Um, didn't want to take up your time with that. And I did find out that I made a mistake. Um, if you remember, I said this was a planetary uh, gear inside of this thing, which means that it can't turn. And I need to rotate this. Uh, so I can um, drop the screws in the holes and tighten it all down. So the problem is if I lock this gear in place at the proper level I won't be able to, to move it. So I, I, while I was away I, I loosened that up again I dropped that down and now I can spin it because it's, it's not lined up with the gear. So hopefully now what I have is a clear shot all the way down, hopefully, <laughs> to the anchor down there. So I might be a little off. I'm going to cut the camera and make sure everything's lined up. All right, I'm back. Um, I had everything lined up pretty good. Uh, I just gave it a little nudge here and there. And I also had to get a long screwdriver, so I didn't want to make you guys wait for that. So basically now I'm going to just take my, I saw you showing that hole I drilled. So take my screw and just put it through another hole I drilled up here. And then I'm going to just run my screw down. I'm not going to tighten it up right yet. Okay, don't tighten it up. All right, I'm to the stop, so. Might have to do that one. There's a hole. There's a hole here. I got to get back to. So I might have to do that one a different way. Come on, baby, turn. I heard my planetary gear in there turning, so I may have just screwed it up. <laughs> or I mean, screwed up where my flat point was. All right. Um, I have a recessed hole here that's a little bit shorter than the other one, so I. I cut some of my screw off so I wouldn't poke through the top. These Lazy Susans have that one screw hole that's, that's down lower. You'll see it if you have one. This one I'm going to tighten down. Yeah, here I have an issue here where there's that stop right there, and here's the hole. So I'm going to have to um, figure out what to do with that. I think I might have to take this the stop off here so I can get closer. So I will, uh, I will be back when I have all this back together. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that little L-shaped bracket down there that you see that I would use for the stop. And it just so happens I have a hole here that's already been drilled that lines up perfectly with those. Uh, let me double check to make sure I don't have something else. No, that's good. I'll use that one. That's a good one. Okay. There's been so many holes drilled in this thing over the years that I got a plethora. I'm gonna grab it. I feel like a dentist. Ta da! There's one. All right, got it out. So, let's see if she spins around now to the point where I can get to that last hole. There it is, okay, got it. All right, I'm going to go back around now and make sure everything's tight. But not too tight. I don't want to break nothing. All right. I think I got everything. Nope, I got one more to do. Not much room down there. There we go. Okay. I think I have another one to do here. Just double check this one here. Okay, it's tight. They're all tight. So now everything's on there. It's attached. And you can see how nicely that spins now. Uh, you can hear that gear in your drag, and I still have to level that up and reattach it. So um, I will uh, do that. Like I'm gonna put my clip back in, level up that gear that's in there, tighten it down, and I'll be ready to put this on the robot and wire it up for movement. So I will be back again when that happens, okay? I will uh, talk to you soon. I've got everything back together now. All the screws are tight, everything's in place. I've uh, lined up my gear with the gear, the, um, the spindle to the gear, I guess that's what you'd call it. I've reinstalled the little uh, clip that uh, for my stop to hit, for my endpoints, and uh, let me turn this light off. I don't know if that any better or not. Anyway, the bottom line is I'm gone as far as I'm going to go. So um, everything's ready. It's looking good. Got my radar on, and it does. Once I got everything back put together, it does. You're able to push it a little bit but I don't think that's a good idea with those planetary gears. So it does move. So here we go. That's about as far as I'm going to go with this video. It's been quite long to this point, and I appreciate you guys watching it to the, up until now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my 
way of doing things isn't always the best way, but it works for me. And it seems to work out pretty good in the end. My next uh, video, I'll be showing how I wire all this up. I put the saber tooth into it, get the motion set, and uh, hopefully have a working radar. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.